click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello everyone. This particular video is all about numerical number 6 based on DC analysis of BJT. Let's begin how complex that numerical is and how to solve with the required findings. <music> In this circuit is nearly equal to your voltage divider by us but this particular resistance is a culprit for us right given the resistors three resistances values are 91 kilo this is 9.1 kilo and this is also 9.1 kilo about all this we have to go for one particular concept that is related with your BWE. Either you can apply superposition theorem or you can apply voltage divider network. Okay. Let us begin with the findings they are expecting to find out ICQ and VCEQ. I want to simplify this circuit first of all with Thevenin's equivalent then we will go through input KVL and output KVL. Let's start how to simplify this circuit. Say this part we already considered when we have learned voltage divider network this is dotted line which gives you right hand side as load so this part is a load and this part is the circuit which I want to modify now the question arises we already have learned that this particular voltage is nothing but your V T H that is Thevenin's equivalent voltage and through this particular branch we will go for finding out the value of RTH right so we will go through the step by step procedure so we will go through the step by step procedure to find out VTH and RTH so we will write A part that is VTH now in VTH see this gives you the complex circuit First of all, it will be very very simple to go with either KCL, either mesh analysis or you can also apply superposition theorem, right? I am applying superposition theorem and redrawing this circuit first where I want to find out VTH here. This is minus 5. This is plus 5 volt and this is plus 10 volt 91k 9.1k and 9.1k again I want to find out VTH you can go with finding the particular node analysis as well right you can go for mesh analysis as well I will go for the superposition there only 10 volt acting alone that is the first case of superposition theorem if this is so then i have to find out the value of vth first this is 91k if i connect all the other dc sources to ground with their internal resistance 9.1k connected to ground this is also 9.1k connected to ground so I will be getting this VTH is over here. This is the value of plus 10 volt. We can apply VDR to get the value of VTH. So you can say VTH is equal to 9.1K parallel 9.1K divide by 
अगेन नाइन पॉइंट वन के पैरल नाइन पॉइंट वन के प्लस नाइन्टी वन के मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टेन वोल्ट दिस इज अ वैल्यू ऑफ वी टी एच वन आई कैन से बिकॉज दिस इज दी केस नंबर वन वी आर कंसिडरिंग राइट जीरो पॉइंट फोर सेवन सिक्स दैट इज नथिंग बट द वैल्यू ऑफ वी टी एच वन दिस इज प्लस एंड दिस इज विद रिस्पेक्ट टू ग्राउंड इक्वेशन नंबर वन वी विल कंसिडर केस नंबर टू Similarly, we'll apply VDR so that we can get the value of VTH. So VTH will become VTH two now will become nine point one k in parallel with ninety one k. Nine point one k in parallel with ninety one k plus nine point one k. Here it is nine point one k. Multiplied by total voltage, that is plus five volt. Okay. Here we'll be getting two point three eight. Nice. Now we will apply. So let's say case number two. We'll apply case number three. Minus five volt acting alone. See this fact. In this, I will draw this diagram. Here we are representing minus five volt, and here I will say it is connected to ground, and here as well it is connected to ground. And here I am expecting that. Will be getting the value of VTH. Again, I will be getting ninety one k. Will be getting nine point one k. Same way, we will be getting the value of VTH three. So here, I will apply VTH three is equal to nine point one k parallel to ninety one k. Divide by nine point one k parallel with ninety one k plus nine point one k here multiplied by minus five volts. It's a strange. This is exactly equal to this value. So we will be getting minus of two point three eight volts. This is nothing but VTH three. My intention to have superposition theorem is after completion of this numerical, you will get to know that yes, if we solve case number two and case number three, the magnitude of these voltages is exactly equal, but the polarity is opposite in nature. So I can say case number two will get cancelled with case number three. and we will be getting the value of vth is exactly same as that of in case number 1 so this is a tricky thing when we are getting minus 5 volt here 9.1k resistance over here and the same value but different polarity voltage is applied that is plus 5 volt and 9.k same resistance is applied so these values will get cancelled and whatever the effective value from 10 volt we are getting that will be your value of vth using superposition theorem we can say that the value of vth is equal to vth1 plus vth2 plus vth3 is equal to 0.476 plus 2.38 minus 2.38. So this and this value will get cancelled. 
right and we will be getting 0 0.476 volts VTH this is the value of VTH the value of RTH that we have to find out using the same method because three different resistances are applied we can't say that its value is one parallel two right three resistances three resistances are applied b part is rth with rth we again redraw the circuit by shorting the dc voltage source we'll have to short dc source This should be grounded this should be grounded this as well grounded and here we are looking to find out the value of rth it's a common sense that 91k 9.1k and this 9.1k are in parallel so we'll be getting the value of rth is equal to 91k parallel to 9.1k parallel to 9.1k the value of rth will become 4.33 kilo ohm now we can easily draw the thevenin's equivalent circuit now we can easily draw the thevenin's equivalent circuit This is your Thevenin's equivalent circuit, whatever that value of RC, RE, RTH, VTH and VCC is. This is minus 5 volt. Keep this in mind that after calculating VTH and RTH, we generally draw the simplified Thevenin's equivalent network with emitter and this VTH ka negative terminal connected together. But in this particular numerical, all the terminals are connected to respective DC source. Now, emitter is connected to minus 5 volt. We already have found out this particular simplified circuit with VTH is equal to 0 0.46 or something value with respect to ground of course. And we don't have to connect this VTH ka negative terminal to directly to the resistance re no it is not allowed this is because the emitter resistance is connected to minus 5 volt that is a separate this is nothing but your load and this is the simplified circuit now we will move towards the input kvl input kvl is this much and we will start to find out the value of ib from this particular input kvl Here we will say it's minus, this is plus, going with the current ka direction, this is plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus and this is minus, so minus of minus will become plus 5. So in the numerical, we will start with the terminal polarity, VTH plus, then minus RTH into IB minus VBE minus ie re and minus of minus that is nothing but plus 5 is equal to 0 right ib i will get from this particular equation i will directly write the value of ib with right hand side is equal to 5 plus vth that is 5.46 something minus VBE. So here I will directly write 5.476 minus 0 0.7 divide by I can convert IE into 1 plus beta times IB. So with this we will be getting IB IB terms same common and common terms I will take outside and put it in the denominator of the right hand side. So RTH is nothing but 4.33 kilo 
plus 1 plus beta times in the numerical beta is not given so we will assume that beta is equal to 100 we will directly write 101 multiplied by the value of r e which is 1k and just pause the screen check your calc is working or not calculate the value of i b The value of IB is coming out to be 45.34 microampere and hence we will be getting the value of ICQ is equal to beta times IB and that is nothing but 4.534 milliampere. And this is the first requirement gets fulfilled by us. One answer. We will go for the next calculation for VCEQ. For VCEQ, we will directly go for output KVL. Mind well, we have to consider the value of plus VCC, we have to consider the value of minus 5 volt as well. Plus VCC is given as plus 15 volts. This is the equation plus 15 volts minus 2k into IC minus VCEQ minus IE into 1k minus of minus 5 is equal to 0. So in short VCEQ is equal to 20 that is 15 plus 5 20 minus I will take IC is equal to IE because beta is 100 that is very high. I can say 2k plus 1k that is 3k multiplied by IC. 3k multiplied by IC value we have found out 4.534 right milli that's it kilo ne milli ko mar diya right and we will be getting the value of uh, VCEQ 6.398 So we have got two answers, one is one is VCEQ and uh, that is 6.398 volts and another is ICQ that is 4.534 milliampere. So this is how we have completed the little bit complex problem complex numerical based on DC analysis which is composed with voltage divider bias network. I hope you all have understood this numerical which is complex one with voltage divider bias network with pits and falls with very few tricks that we have to implement in the examination without fail and to get right answer. Thank you again you have to subscribe the channel of Ikeda videos learn more and more EDC along with me conceptually with Ikeda videos. Thank you.